That doesn't make any sense. You're listening to what I'm saying. We're not listening to what I'm saying. We're not listening to what I'm saying. I believe that we can achieve a lot more greater discussions and have a lot more sense of common ground than all this hostility that we see, and especially like in our world with just the polarizations of just our two political parties that we have. I mean, just simply taking a deep breath to go a long way. It's also very important to listen to perspectives that I disagree yeah. with. You know, a couple of things happen. Either I learn much more why I believe what I believe, Correct. Or I start to understand that other perspective a lot better, and mm -hmm. now I, I can speak to both sides. But to walk around and have this sense that you have the right for everything to fit you, then that, we're gonna have chaos, because we each can't have that. Because what I want is not what Jennifer wants or what Jessica wants. But if yet we say that's what the world has to be, it's gonna be chaotic. When we have the opportunity to engage and get to know one another uh, beyond the, the a surface level and, and really be able to develop a sense of shared experience. Lots of good stuff uh, comes from that. That's what I call being pre-offended. I won't even wait for you to offend me. I'm just going to assume you're going to offend me. So for me, the question becomes, how do we change that? How do we, at the very least, create the incentive to just engage?